Russia sends the newest T-14 tanks to the Ukraine front. Russia has deployed its latest tank, the T-14 Armata, to Ukraine. But they have not yet participated in direct assault operations, the RIA state news agency reported. Quoting a source close the matter, the Russian armed forces have started using the latest T-14 Armata main tanks to shell Ukrainian positions. But these tanks have not yet participated in direct assault operations, an informed source told RIA Novosti. According to the disseminated information, the tank received additional side protection armor. It was placed to protect the chassis and tank from enemy anti-tank missiles. According to the agency, the T-14 Armata has been operating in Donbas since the end of last year. It is said that the tanks have been fitted with extra protection on their flanks and crews have undergone combat coordination at training grounds in Ukraine. The T-14 tank has unmanned turret with crew controlling the armaments from an isolated armored capsule located in front of the hull. Until the first T-14 was produced in 2015, Russia's most modern tank, the T-90, was a heavily upgraded version of the 1970s era T-72 and was designed around its chases. In January, British military intelligence reported that Russian forces in Ukraine were reluctant to accept the first tranche of the tanks due to their poor condition. It also said that any deployment of the T-14 would likely be a high-risk decision for Russia and one taken primarily for propaganda purposes. Production is probably only in low tens while commanders are unlikely to trust the vehicle in combat, the British military said. 11 years in development, the program has been dodged with delays, reduction in planned fleet size and reports of manufacturing problems. There is no official information on how many manufactured T-14 Armata tanks there are.